hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's uh, video i would like to talk about the new ai image generator which um, is still in a research phase but it's supposed to create awesome artificially intelligence generated images and they see here that you can create realistic images or art from a description in natural language now these are the nlp models the natural language processing models of deep learning and machine learning and it's really amazing because you can just describe the image and it will create it for you so while this one is still not available to the public you have to join a wait list there is still a way i have access by the way so i will show you how this works uh, as far as i have generated it but this is very interesting to me due to the fact that natural language models which uh, by the way i'm working on a course about uh, these can also create images so um, the description is here dali 2 can create original realistic images from art from a text description and it can combine concepts attributes and styles and we see an example here uh, another example here which to me looks absolutely fabulous if you would like these in your portfolio mm -hmm. or a design artwork or you may use it uh, like in a children's book or educational material and so on and here we see different variations that it can create different variations of the same image isn't this cute yeah anyways so let me demonstrate how this works uh, you log in once you have an account and it's um, it's on labs.openai.com you have access to dolly and um, here you see previous concepts arts this one is amazing so 3d render of a cute tropical fish in an aquarium on a dark blue background digital art and we can obviously click to try this is the way the image looks before let's see what we get so it's currently rendering and there we have it this looks like nemo finding nemo i love it so the generated images you get them saved there and you can also render variations let's say we pick this one and we can generate variations here let's see what we get <laughs> a bowl of soup that looks like a monster knitted out of wool and it definitely is <laughs> okay so it made us four more in the same style which is awesome now this dolly is actually not free uh, you have to buy credits let me show you here so i have 131 credits still in my account because i've been using some of them i'll go through this but you can buy credits and you see here for 115 credits you pay 15 dollars and i mean it's worth it uh, if you use this concept art um, on your websites or in your courses or on your blog whatever materials you have um, i think it's worth it and once this becomes available to the public i look forward to including it into a website so that you can generate per automatic since the api is not yet accessible so if we go to the api we see that we have the gpt3 available uh, but uh, the dolly is not yet available it's still experimental and it's only people on the wait list or who already have access to the account who can access it all right now let's get to back to my concept work as you know my website statisticsforbusiness.com which currently i'm 
uh, redeveloping. Sorry for how it looks at the moment. I entered these words here, statistics for business, to see the images it would generate me. And it did generate me these, which I can definitely apply in any article I'm writing. Now, let's see if I generate again what I will get. Now I'm getting these images. And yes, they definitely look interesting. The concept work is definitely interesting. Uh, this one, I don't really see any relation, but I mean, it's pretty good for being an AI. It is awesome. And these three, on the other hand, are definitely useful. Now, let's see if we try something statistics for business regression models. Let's see what it gives us. Um, in neon, let's try neon dystopia. And yeah, I mean, your fantasy is the only limitation to this thing. And since I'm such a sucker for drawings and images, okay. I mean, the concept art is really cool, but the wording is not really accurate. So I think the concept needs to be an object and not text. So let's see. Um, I have another example here, which it did awesome, neon cyberpunk car. And I got these images here. And if we generate this again, let's see what we get. <laughs> yeah, this one looks lit. Yeah, they're absolutely adoring. And yes, I did get the same concept art and variations and new images. So, I mean, it's really versatile. Uh, you could use it for, I've generated a lot of uh, neon work for, uh, I have a website which I love, uh, like the cyberpunk art on. Anyways, if we go back to, let's say, um, a student, learning calculus on a laptop in a lit room. Let's see what it gives us. I think the more details you add, the more it can um, um, vary the images. Let's see, this is experimental. And yes, we did get a student with a laptop learning calculus in a lit room. So the room is not dark. Hmm, very nice. All right. And let's say they should have... Um, Let's say they should have with desktop plant, since why not? So I see a lot of potential in this image generation. I think it's going to be big. And yes, look at our images now. Everyone has a plant and a laptop and everyone is studying. Don't you love this? I mean, it's so amazing. Uh, desktop plant, let's put a robot assistant. Let's see how that looks. Generate. <laughs> I'm having fun here. I just wanted to show this to you guys. And I mean, I'm getting a lot of ideas for my future courses and like article images and yeah, they have a robot assistant. Now, this one, not to criticize, but the student disappeared. We only see the <laughs> AI assistant, wh while here we see part of both, with the plant, of course, which you 
have to have and this guy here is missing the AI assistant I believe anyways these images are awesome if you ask me uh, it's not even that expensive I had like a 130 something it's like one credit for each generation and you know you get 115 for 15 dollars so it's like 10 cents for running one of these and you can use this in research only your fantasy and creativity will stop you um, let's say if we put Homer Simpson in here let's see Homer Simpson cause why not Hmm, well, that actually didn't really work, but I got more nice student calculus images, which we were asking for. However, this might resemble a little bit of Homer Simpson. Um, yeah, let's see if it knows who Homer Simpson is. Homer Simpson images. Let's try to generate that. Because it might not know how to write text and might not know some personalities, so to say. Uh, it's still interesting to see. Yes, it knows who Homer Simpson is. <laughs> awesome. And the coolness in the variations. I mean, this is like Homer trying to go on a diet, which he's very afraid of. Excuse me for laughing at that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, if you ask me. Okay, so next, let's try intergalactic... Intergalactic spaceship uh, warp. Neon, of course, we have to have neon because I'm a neon sucker. Neon effects stars traveling. Let's see how this looks. Traveling, excuse my old British English spelling. All right. So, traveling. Oh. And of course, I'm sure it can do many natural images. It's just, I'm trying to see, push the boundaries like that cat submarine that looked very very cool to me oh don't you love this i mean this one absolutely amazing and that one you really get the warp not so much the spaceship but i mean it's definitely ai space concept art you can't argue with now since art is subjective and everyone has an opinion because why not i mean these are crazy good <laughs> And yeah, if you want to do something, let's try something natural, uh, like contemporary, contemporary art. Let's put a dog, a dog in a green park with blooming flowers. Now let's try this. <laughs> I love this submarine cat. Chimera, yeah. I mean, I love Salvador Dali, so excuse me if my art doesn't appeal to you. But yeah, I mean, this is definitely contemporary art with all the cute doggies in there. And this one, I have to say, is my favorite. While Monet, I love this one. <laughs> Yeah, let's try Salvador Dali. Let's see how this would look. Salvador Dali style. If it would change. And this one, Vaporwave. It's really cool. Um, well, let's just get the results here. Well, this would definitely classify as Dali, in a sense. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, who knows? Tell me your opinion. <laughs> All right, guys, this was just a video for fun. And um, if you like my channel, subscribe. I usually teach statistics. And as I said, I'm um, starting on a course with natural language processing. And that's how I came into this dollies because it's, um, yeah, it's for images, but it's a language, natural language processing AI. So while we can't use this in an API or on websites or development yet, we can still use the machine learning, the deep learning of the statistics in generating these images. Because this model has been trained on I don't know how many million images to be able to understand the concept and generate something like this. I mean, it's out of this world. All right, guys, please like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you in my next uh, probably more boring statistical videos. All right, until next time.